Hi guys, Ru here with Naritude for Blender. In this one, we're gonna design some kind of a terminal, something sci fi. And yeah, let's let's go with the uh, you know, cube, cubish kind of shape. Let's apply scale. Also, let's grab our cavity and shadow. Let's set our uh, our box cutter properly. And also, do we have screencast keys? Of course we don't. Now we do. Um, these two options and this one as well. It's all set. Angle lock. Fine. Angle lock. Good. All right. Right now, so what we could do is uh, control click this one to, you know, bevel this with mark. So it's going to be a non-destructive bevel and we can copy this to the other side. Let's introduce some uh, loops here. So press 2 with, uh, oops, press 2 with machine tools and to drop some loops. So you don't have to do it with the control R. And let's actually drop some chamfers in here, okay? Uh, like that. And what I want to do is go to machine change to width and play with the taper okay so let me see that let's flip it upside down maybe actually this one is pretty cool all right so we got something like this which is pretty cool and we can actually start having some fun so um, let's first slice this here with knife and let's grab these um, faces here so these ones whoops let's in fact uh, cut it somewhat so it's not that boring hold control for the uh, for the angle so okay hold control come on cut it with a knife and probably cutting through the bevel so you know what let's apply this bevel and do it again cut it in here in fact we can remove these it's just confusing. So let me try to do the other side. And now we can actually select these, right? Cool. And now we can curve extract this. And let's actually bevel this, this vert. Pretty cool. And this one is actually fine. That's okay. And I think this is a bit too thick, so uh, not the bevel. Uh, but bevel actually is okay. We can we can drop a bevel here. But I wanted to go to modify and solidify and just you know make it a bit a bit smaller. Because solidify is still live on it, yeah. And grab an angle on and perform some cool cuts. So switch back to uh, slash and uh you know slash a few things in here Perfect. Now let's grab a bevel in here. In fact, let's remove this edge. Um, I wonder if I don't want a chamfer in here, you know. I think it's gonna look pretty cool. I think. Okay, now let's slice this one. So end gone and let's slash here. Bevel this and 
inside it all of this shift click to shift to normal and let's solidify this to so change the the insert level on this one okay and we got some hot lining here with the bevel so what we can do is simply change the size of these okay so just you know drop them a bit lower yeah? somewhere here that will do let's apply weighted normals so we don't have a problem looking good let's grab another and go here and let's follow this uh this line more or less and let's actually slush it there we go and in fact we're gonna leave it we can actually bevel it too so just bevel this one Yeah, it looks pretty good. Let's save it so we don't lose it. Now we power save is going to actually auto save to a copy. So if brand will crash this, I'm using 2.9 just for shits and giggles and uh, we should be safe. Now let's go to uh, control Q. Uh, control Q, by the way, it's, uh, does it work? I don't think it does. A control Q by default should be quit blender, but I removed it. So if you go to key map and press uh, type quit, it's not here anymore. But if you do have it, I'll suggest removing it and then remapping this key to um, to this one. Aligned, aligned view, which is an amazing tool. So right click and sign shortcut control Q. And when you press Ctrl Q, you can, you know, align to view in various ways. Way more powerful than Blender, you know, um, native tools. Maybe let's use Angon, it's going to be probably better. So. Let's recall this cutter. And let's array it on Z. So, there you go. Let's offset it a little bit. In fact, what we could do is uh, apply the rotation, see if it's going to work, and then change the uh, the axis. Fine. Let's actually change the offset here. So constant. Let's see. No, that's not the axis I want. That's the one I want. So X to reset the mirror and Bob Junk. Okay. Let's remove these. Uh, we don't need them. And let's apply weighted normals here because we will need it. Now let's uh let's go here and let's see what we can do. Let's inset it extrude it down and extrude it, scale it and then extrude it again and see how we're gonna how we're gonna do we did pretty well um, we got some pulling in here which means bell is a little bit too crazy probably there we go that's better that's a pretty cool stand actually Nice, I like it. We could in fact extend the bottom part, but we don't have to. Or we could do something like this, which is going to introduce an interesting cut uh, to this uh, to this design. This bevel is too crazy here, so I'm going to make it smaller. I could fix this, uh, you know, issue, but in, in fact these bevels are too crazy. There is no bevel in this one, I think, or if it, if there is one, it's actually too a bit too small. Cannot be too big because it's going to, you know cause havoc with these cuts they're quite narrow and uh, you know we don't want to upset upset our uh, bevels now here what we could do right is um, do something interesting so select this one circle control Q and you see how useful this is right click and 
no circle actually and uh are we in view mode yes we are so let's in fact you know what i'm going to rotate a little bit more there we go and cut somewhere here maybe like this yeah okay make it a bit smaller and move it to the side and copy this to the other other uh, now I'm not sure if I want to do it this way or or do I want it vertically can't decide to be honest which one is better let's see if we can actually um, carve this first with end gone like this it's gonna be any more interesting that's pretty cool actually so let's recall these uh, circular cutters man. come on and change to solidify <clears throat> okay So let's apply the modifier here too. Smart apply. Let's grab these ones and let's uh, insert them a little bit, a bit more, and uh, extrude them. And move them up like this. Peachy. And we're going to slice them, okay? Right. This probably either a bevel is too big or weighted normal so messed up. And I think, I mean, uh, normal so flipped. But I think this is just a double vert, probably. So let's apply it. Let's move it down here and apply this. And we can. Can mirror this to the other side looking good and now let's actually align ourselves to to these pipes yes yeah? so control Q and switch to we need to go in via mode because otherwise we're not gonna be able to do this um, fortunately so I'm gonna reposition this circle with G more or less and extrude it there you go that should do and let's scale this okay a little bit kind of like this should do now what i want to do is actually round it up so i'm gonna run another angle on here like this all right and i'm gonna bevel it like this there you go that's better sharpen this now you're talking and now let's apply let's apply here weighted normals we get some from here or even better remove all these faces right and then simply run a face tool around which will mess things up properly so let's see that so the face here like that double verts double verts should do There you go, sorted. Copy to the other side. And everything should be okay. All right, now I'm going to run some cables with it, but in a minute. All right, let's slice the top of this one with some box like this. And you can actually lower it a little bit, so Somewhere here, I will do 
select both of them and let's multiply. Let's grab this one and actually uh, chamfer it a little bit on both sides, just a tiny bit. Yeah, it's gonna create a nice separation here. Pretty cool. And let's see. Let's grab another box and run it through here and bevel this add some segments press j it's gonna be a join but it's too big so we're gonna scale it and move it to the middle so let's move a cursor here let's move this one to cursor come on and then move it outside into a proper position which is here We want some loops in here, right? So because it's a join boolean, so it needs to be clean. So like when you run, run a lot of loops, everything is clean. And then what we're going to do is we're going to actually drop some holes in here too so a larger one like that and solidify this in fact hide it and we're going to apply it select to its own uh, um, separate the objects and Scale this like this and drop it deeper. There we go. And now let's go to Mesh Tools, Cable Ops, and let's run it from here to here. And we need to fix this so GX and move it outside. Uh, you run this, it actually ran it from the other side, so um, let's turn on the uh, x ray mode. Mm, we're gonna have to flip this, okay? So we're gonna flip this like this on y axis to the other side. You can hold control, there we go, and run this cable here and definitely need to flip this one as well here so something like this let's uncheck this and see how we're looking yeah, we're looking pretty good we're looking pretty good this would probably be better mm. let me see that this could be a little bit longer you see here like this right and same with this one so Go to side view and let's extend it. And then this one could be a bit uh, steeper, so kind of like that. Make it a bit smaller. Let's run it perpendicularly to this hole. Uh, I should do. And let's duplicate it to the other side. Mirror it. I mean, this shape here is still a little bit off. I think this should be longer. Kind of like this, maybe. That's kind of cool. Okay, that's nice. It's a little bit too steep. This pipe wouldn't curve like this. So we need to think about it. Let's bend it a little bit, you know. And this should probably go a little bit this way. And this one is way too long. So there you go. That's better.
Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. All right. And let's uh, cover a box here. Let's bevel this and J through it a bit. Bring it in here and rotate it slightly somewhere here. I think it's in the middle. If it isn't, we're gonna marry it across this now it is okay and we need to add some loops in here as well so it's gonna blend better but not too many because it might cause havoc with with our bevel so in fact you know what um, I'm gonna introduce one here and actually one will do I think yeah one will do Okay, perfect. Apply this. <clears throat> and Like we could do something like this. So select the face and control click here. Let's extrude it a little bit and in fact there we go. Let's now create a plane, drop it in here, make it smaller and a little bit bigger and curve the, the sides, in fact, no, not curve them, do something like this and select the face and uh, let's actually solidify this. A little bit. Sharpen it and extrude it inwards. Inset it, insert it a little bit more, extrude it outwards. And now all you need to do is bevel it. Now we need something on top because it's a bit boring. So let's grab some uh, rectangles here. Slice it down and let's join it. It's a bit too tall, so um, let's make it shorter. Whoa, right, and now we can actually cut it. So go to end gun and actually run um, a edge here with a knife press C to make it straight grab this face and um, we could actually rip it off 
or not the whole thing, just this one. So let's apply this, sharpen, and then rip it off. So there we go. Now let's slice it properly. Okay. There we go, apply some sharpen. I mean weighted normals. Bob your uncle. Now we're going to change the barrel of this because it's way too big, right? This should be like a metal plate on top of this. So now let's grab this one and go to top view, go to face, insert this face, right? And a little bit more and sink it in. And the bevel is too big, so probably, or is it? Yeah, see it's overshooting, so just make it a bit smaller, should be fine. Mm. That was it. Now let's sink it in. So thicker and increase the width of this oh that's pretty cool actually I like it and let's uh, shift the ball to ins um, to inset if possible see that kind of we got some issues so we need to work with a uh, solidify let me see that there we go see the bevel I'm gonna drop it a little bit more there you go and it's pretty cool okay we're looking good now um, inside here what we're gonna do right we're gonna create like a, um, some tubes so Let's actually save this. It's gonna be easier to actually add some mud to it. So let's add the mud to it. Now let's select this part here. Um, let's see if the machine trick will work. Press two, nah, and then control I. There we go. And what we're gonna do is uh, add another mod to the scene. Uh, we're gonna add glass, so shift click, and then we're going to assign this glass here. Perfect. So now we got a glass, but uh, you know we need we need to fix this because. This glass a bit thick, yeah. So we need to run another cut in here, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rip this off, yeah, and we're going to insert it, okay, a little bit, and then we're going to slice it here. So just run a knife, or just simply combine this, and. Uh, we're going to control I this and delete faces, grab this one, remove the marks and just, you know. Run a cut inside. Now like this. Come on. There we go. To the very bottom and through the top yeah and we're going to actually um 
cut it through. So select this and this and um, booleans slash. Yeah. Now the glass is on the, on the outside, which is pretty cool. So now what we can do is grab this this bit from the inside, okay? And we need to fix the bottom part, so... Um, see that? Let's sharpen this, so we're gonna apply it, and... Alright, fine, what I'm gonna do is uh, simply slice it, it's gonna be, sim you know, easier. Just done with it, yep. Are we good here? Let me see that. Um, what we might do is grab this and select this whole whole part in here and assign this material back and in fact grab this and slightly extrude it okay so Q and curve extract so it's thicker yeah Hmm. Wait, it's almost okay. Now we're good. Let's cut this here with an end gun. There you go. All right. So the bottom is salted, right? Now we need to grab the middle and flip the normals outside. And what we're going to do is set some loops here. <clears throat> Go to the front view. Come on. And cut some kind of like openings here for like massive cylinders. Yeah. Uh, in this mesh. Okay. How are we looking? Let's remove this boolean. So let's recall the uh, the bulls, right? The cutters, and let's grab this cutter, go to side view, make it a bit smaller like this, and let's cut it, okay? Here. Now let's um, actually we don't need to do anything with it. We just can cut it like that. So let's you know grab this one and difference, right? And this should work. Now we're going to. Mm, grab this, this, and wait a minute. Um, let's select it by material and hide it. There we go. And this is what we need to cut, yeah? So let's actually. Or well, we could just change it to glass, you know? Sign glass. So now what I want to do is. Let me see, there's a leak somewhere here. Or am I seeing things? No, I'm seeing things. All right, let's go to this glass material and uh, change it a bit. Okay, um, shader editor, and change color of it to blue. <clears throat> and we definitely need to change the lighting here because it's crap. There we go. Now that's pretty good. In fact, we could start applying some mats here as well. Oh, that's a pretty good one. I like this. So let's copy this. And this could be some kind of a rubbery material. Perfect. And this could be this one. Doesn't really matter. This could be this one too. And I think this one is a little bit of a different color no? Yeah, so this could be this could be kind of darker and this could be kind of brighter. So this one, right? This one may be too dark. It is steel, so let's actually add some clear coat and clear coat the roughness. And it's a bit too shiny for my for my taste you know there we go that's better this could be dark as well to be honest 
looks pretty cool and this will be the same yep makes sense this could be dark as well so there we go that's much better and this could be dark as well in fact this could be glass the glass makes no sense here so dark one black mud will do nice so now let's uh let's uh you know let's grab the interior and let's actually uh, have some fun here so let's grab a cylinder and drop it in here go to uh, let's let's just go to object view and let's put the cavity back on because we lost it because of the crush um 2.9 is crushing a lot actually uh this is not the re most recent version maybe that's why so probably should update it but you can't be bothered um i'm not using it that much to be honest so um extrude it and alt s and scale it and extrude it alt s there you go and let's just drop it in Something like this would do. Let's uh, let's run some loops here. And the top one and the bottom one. Come on. Now we're going to. That's too big of a chamfer. That will do. Also, the bevel is crazy. Let's make it a bit smaller. There we go and um let's let's drop some you know inset in here there we go and this is going to be like a rod so let me see that um probably gonna cut it inside here and or maybe yeah this could work mod talks mod scroll toggle and mm, maybe we could bevel these or chamfer i mean like that this could look actually interesting there we go and we're gonna you know drop it in here and um let's go back to material view looks pretty cool and uh, what we're gonna do is these um, we're gonna apply them so sharp and, and we're going to select these okay and change them into glass so before we do anything let's actually apply some mud to it and then we're gonna add another one and glass and a sign and we got some bleeds in here, which is probably caused by, ah, uh, we didn't select everything, so. Um, sign glass, there we go. Are we good now? I think we're good. We got some bleeds in here, but we can fix it very easily to go, uh, we can go to, uh, to bevel and change material, shading to zero. And this should fix this. Did it fix it? Oh, not really. Fascinate. Ah! This edge needs to be picked up. There we go. And sign. Peachy. Alright, now. So now what I'm going to do is, you know, grab another cylinder so let's drop a cursor here um we're gonna grab another cylinder and make it very small make it really long and parent it to this one and we're going to apply some emissive material to it so um i'll click on this and uh we're going to make it brighter and 
let's see. Whoops, not this one. Oh, come on. This is in cutters. I need to move it to collection. So, oh, we don't have a collection, right. Ha, huh, this is in cutters. Let's mirror this to the other side and make it stronger because it's a bit boring. So, shit editor. And where is this emission? That's the one. Value. Increase the value. Now, let's see this terminal here a little bit. Control Q. And let's just uh, drop some. In fact, you know what? We could do this with. Uh, uh, we could uh, we could do this. Curve extract this one a little bit, right? So it looks like a screen, and we could change it to glass. Yeah. There we go. That will do, and make it a bit thinner so it doesn't do the Z fighting with the bottom layer, okay? As such. Control click, there we go. Jesus. Okay, so let's let's do it again, shall we? Um let's fix the roughness here a little bit. There we go, and make it, you know. Let's see what we can do here. Could add some color, really, possibly. Hmm. We're still in EV, so it's gonna look different in cycles. That's another thing. So, all right, let's save this thing because it's gonna crash again. I'm gonna have to redo this, and it's gonna be annoying. So we got our pipes, we got everything. Um, you know, this interior, to be honest. Where is it? Come on. This one? Yeah. This could use a bit of, uh, you know, chamfer, to be honest. So let's move this a little bit to the top. And let's try to chamfer this. I don't know if it's going to be a good idea or a bad idea. It's going to be probably a bit of a problem problem with, the, uh, with these lines here. But let's see. In fact, you know, this could get move down a bit it's gonna be better so let's try now see what's gonna happen you don't want to select these and we're good to go and let's chamfer this a bit and let's see how we're looking oh jesus christ that's the uh it's a massacre here but uh, we probably can fix this Probably. Um, fix this one, fix this one, this one. This one is a bit too close, so uh, not HGG and move it just a tiny bit to the left. You're not going to be see able, able to see through the glass anyway that much, but you know, um, it's always good practice to clean this garbage. Okay, and then. Um, mirror this to the other side yeah see this uh this chamfer gives a little bit of interest and there's still a mess in here so let's fix it okay now we're talking yeah that's much better what the hell is this what's going on in here i think it's just a reflection these two, what the hell is that? What we could do is actually, you know, uh, add a new color here. I mean, new, sorry, um, new material. And make it a bit dark, huh? Definitely metallic. And how are we doing? Yeah, that's a bit better. I think it's a bit more interesting. So, pretty cool. Now, now we're gonna have some fun with decals, yes. Yeah? So let's go to decal machine and let's decal this a little bit. 
so let's grab the hinges I mean not hinges like a locks where do I have it um, I think it's this one yeah so let's make them smaller and let's drop them on this glass kind of and let's adjust them the other way around and bring them on a on a border with this and make them really small and array them it's outside there we go so that's that and we need some vents here on the bottom so uh, we could you know use these in the front and the array is a little bit too long There you go. And now, maybe that's why was a, there was a problem with uh, with um, applying this. Let's match this again to something darker. That's the one. And and I have an idea. So let's grab these two and move them like this. And move it in here. And oops, align this, and then we're going to project it. There we go. It needs to be a little bit higher. So G Z, move it up. There we go. Perfect. And drop it on the other side. Bob Janko. Now we need some screws all over so let's grab some of my decals and just you know drop some screws in here and some are here and some are here and some are here and some are on the bottom and and this will do select all of them and project them that's good and let's actually match them properly with this darker material and then we're gonna drop some screws in here too so drop another one and we're gonna drop one here um, maybe one here and maybe one here Double click and project and let's make them black as well. It's gonna be a nice contrast. This one could be black too to be honest. I don't mind. In fact no, this is a bit too strong. Okay, let's go to the front view and let's have some fun here now. So you know we could have some cool devices here like this. And um project it some kind of a whatever system and let's give some props to AR in fact if it's gonna be asymmetrical I think it's gonna be better so let's uh, let's do it asymmetrically <coughs> also this one needs some fixing so let's go to machine uh, deco machine, where is it? Where is deco machine? This one, uh, closest. There we go. And uh, we definitely need some different color here, so something darker. Yeah, that's better. Is it? I think so. 
I think it's a bit too big, maybe, you know? Maybe it's, it's a bit too big. Maybe let's go with Shaw. That's actually a pretty cool sticker. Um, more or less in the middle. Yeah, that's better, I think. And definitely needs to be a different color. Kind of dark. That's the one. And we could have some terminal in here, so... Let's see what we can do in here. Uh, we could have some panel covering. It's gonna take time to load because there's so many decals in this pack that... Yeah, that one could do. This one could do. Uh, this one's a bit too obnoxious. Uh, let's get something more more subtle like this there we go maybe maybe or we could go with these right and project them maybe not together so project this one first and this one second are you serious right now? GZ and move it up. And now project it. Now you're talking. Nice. Yeah, but a bit of asymmetricality is kind of cool. Um, this one's gonna be simple because, you know, we, I mean, we could drop all kinds of stuff. Uh, for example, we could drop something like this and rotate it and drop it in here and Bob Janko. And then we could actually fix it a bit. So, um, And let's see here, let's grab some, uh, where is it, not this one, there we go, some other terminal here, like a plug, um, for whatever reason, uh, let's do something else here, so let's grab a uh, one of these mm. and let's adjust it not project come on adjust it make it smaller smaller yet and drop it in here project it there we go and drop it on the other side and change color to black right actually no silver it's gonna be better looking good uh, we could add some, you know, some info uh, stuff in here. So, on the side here, adjust, could drop it on this one, probably gonna work. Let's try this. There we go, and we're going to change the hue and color to something dark so it looks pretty cool nice now the back we need something as well so let's just uh, think we could go with uh, with some vents and you know do the same thing so G Oops, G E Y Y or X X. It's gonna be on X, right? Yeah. So let's go to back view again. Let's try to align this. Yeah. So G X and align this on double X and project it, and then simply mirror this to the other side. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That fits. All right. 
cool. Now we need some handles at the back, so what we can do is uh, go to go to classic inserts from the mesh machine and grab these where is it this one and just drop them here project and and do something like this that's perfect and we do need some info panel in here as well so we could drop another one here like this this time it's gonna be white because why not this is too big need to think of a scale if this is gonna be for humans this would be too big right so um let's just uh make it a bit less crazy there we go and uh we could have some kind of uh you know um some vents maybe somewhere here in the bottom or even or even one in the middle could be one in the middle something like this let's rotate it slightly so it's not you know not uniform there you go looking good and we could have some vents on the bottom here too so what the hell is this this is some kind of uh you know some kind of a boolean here going through crazy boolean there we go and in the bottom here you could have something cool as well so you know what project come on there we go and drop it in here that's too crazy uh, let's go with something less you know less insane maybe some kind of uh, back panel but this could do actually you know this could do like drop it in here and project it and s mirror this across and this should work make make them darker so yep that makes sense right yes it does and uh, here we could have something as well on the side so you know let's adjust it a little bit I'm gonna make it dark as well yep it's all about accents that I have to scream in your face you know um, this would uh, I would leave it alone it's, it's gonna be too much detail if you don't add anything to be honest this could be uh, chamfered this one right so just drop a chamfer here it's gonna be a bit more at a bit more interest and also we could inset it you know just a little bit like this right and then uh, select the the outer edge so come on uh, select the outer edge uh, I don't have the shortcut mapped in here that's okay um, bevel this and extrude it like that it's gonna introduce an interesting break and uh, the bevel is too crazy so we're gonna make it smaller to this extent and this should be copied to the other side as such perfect and this also should be maybe now maybe we're gonna leave it of this color it's fine um that's okay uh we could have some interesting here on top as well you know we could make it black as well just to you know add a bit more interest and everything is peachy um, these ridges here could be, you know, could have something as well on them. So let's see. Um, the 
this is too dark so I'm gonna switch it back to silver yet yeah. and project it and copy to the other side there you go so there is something breaking the empty monotony of it we could we could have some hatches in here as well in fact you know this could be hollow um, we could cut a hole in here so let's go with box cutter and do something like this and literally cut through I think it's gonna be more interesting yeah uh, we could move it a bit higher so somewhere here right Let's just get rid of this. Yeah, that's much more interesting. So let's apply this. In fact, this makes zero sense. We're gonna remove it. Let's go with the machine stuff. Um, oh, that that could work actually. Um, just make it small. Kind of like some kind of locks or whatever. Maybe for lifting this or for maintenance or whatever. There we go. Yeah, that's much better. All right, so let's see how we're looking. We're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good. We, we do need some stuff in here though. Um, on top. Oh, this could do. Why the hell not? And let's actually make it black. awesome I'm not really sure about these two you know it needs to be something different here like this set it the other way around so it vents away from the person who's operating it right perfect now that makes sense okay now now I'm, now I'm satisfied cool and let's see we're looking pretty good we're looking pretty good we could have something in here too you know just for the hell of it There you go. Okay, I think this should be it. Let's just, you know, save it. 